Hi guys, me, Rusty, 78609, Central Texas, USA. It is November the 8th, Election Day, 2016 at 919 a.m. Central Standard Time. Temperature 64 top-down degrees, overcast, a little misty, but getting better. <clears throat> So what's on my agenda for the day? Not a hell of a lot, but you know me, baby. Old Rusty's little skinny brain is just constantly in motion. And so what I've come up with is I'm going to take me about a two or three day trip, probably a two day trip, two nights somewhere in the Prius. I was going to go down and visit my kinfolk in Victoria, but I am not going to spend $75 a night for a motel room. And people would probably ask, well, hell, why don't you stay with your kinfolk? Well, that's, we don't do that. I can't, we, we don't do that. You come visit, yeehaw, we got a little water down here. Whoa, Harshy! Whoa! The low water crossing is... Ah! <laughs> Damn, hello. I'd like to hit that going by hour. Anyway, yeah, we had a good rain last night. A, a hard, fast rain for about an hour and a half. That's what causes that to go across the road. I've actually seen that floodgate about four feet. About four feet. But anyway... Our family doesn't do that. We don't stay at each other's house. We don't have company. We never did when I was growing up. And that's just the way that is. Big deal. And uh, so, but I did find some state parks in Texas that aren't too bad. I found one that's $12 a night for a tent site. That's the cheapest one in the state of Texas. Cheapest one in the state of Texas. And where is it? Well, they got one in Goliad, Texas, and they got one out in San Angelo. I'm going to go to one of them. I'll probably go to San Angelo. I don't like to go down along the coast too much. And that area is only about 30 miles. It's a crow flies from Goliad, Texas, Victoria. Or about 30 miles from the Gulf. Real humid year-round. Every now and then it gets dry air, but not often. I lived there for 15 years, I know. But anyway, what else is going on? I got to go to Ace Hardware and get some reflective insulation for my rear window. My other reflective cover I, when I left Big Ben Campground, I had it on the outside of the window. I just had it taped on. And I got up and it was dark in the morning. I got everything ready to go and I overlooked one thing. My reflective insulation on the rear window. And uh, I didn't even know I'd forgotten it. And the wind blew it off and that was the end of that. Big deal, it only cost a dollar. Yeah, you can buy that stuff cheap, cheap, cheap. And, uh, but anyway, uh, I've got to looking at my uh, air mattress, trying to figure out why it was losing air. And it was hard to figure out because I couldn't find a leak. I ran water, you know, like you do on a tube or something to see if there's an air leak. I, you know, I aired it up real tight, ran water over it, couldn't find a deal. And what I finally found was, believe it or don't, where you put the air in, there's a little valve that closes whenever you, you know, let, whenever it's full of air and it, it seals. It seals so it doesn't let the air out. Well, what had happened is, it looked like a, a piece of a pine cone or pine metal had got on that thing and stuck and it and it just didn't seal in that one little spot. So I took that off and cleaned that little rubber seal 
and it works perfect now so I guess I'm back to the air mattress. The air mattress works okay and it's just the right size. The downside of it is you can't keep the damn sheets on it. The bottom sheet and just keep rolling up. But I'm, I got an idea on that. I got an idea on that. We're going to wrap it for this trip and see how it works. I got a plan. But anyway, what else is going on? Nothing but take a look. Car camping trip, my Prius. Probably leave in the morning. I don't know. I'll go next week. I'm not sure. Just kind of, it's on my agenda. And I've got it down to a, an arc now. I mean, it doesn't take me long. I don't have to do anything. You know what I mean? I don't have to. Like whenever you're in an RV and you camp for a while, say a week, when you get ready to leave, you got there's things to do on the inside and outside. <clears throat> you got to put all your stuff away, all your dishes and stuff. <clears throat> and, you know, get them out of the way. It doesn't take long, maybe 10 minutes. And then on the outside, you got to unhook it in the jacks and all that crap to do. Doesn't take long, but you got to do it. But with a Prius, maybe you just get in, punch the blue button, basically, and go. Of course, you got to put in the air mattress and the, and the uh, ice chest. And what I'm going to do this time, rather than take a lot of stuff in the ice chest, I'm just going to mix up my breakfast, my fruit and stuff yogurt mix me up a big bowl of that that'll last for two breakfasts and take me two or three sandwiches and some uh, beef jerky and some cheese for the evening and that's it baby I'm good for three days that's it don't have to stop to eat anywhere don't even have to go to a grocery store don't even have to get ice because ice will last in this weather four days easy 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 easy, easy peasy uh, I voted again this morning. I say again because what happened was I, I vote by mail. They sent me a mail ballot. But I screwed it up. Because you have to, whenever you do your vote, you put it inside of an envelope. And then you put that envelope inside another envelope and seal it. And then you have to sign your signature across the uh, sealed flap. But what I did was, is I just put the ballot in the envelope without putting it in the other envelope. And so ended up, I just threw it in the trash. But when I went to vote today, I had to vote provisionally because they couldn't find me in the system at first. And then when they did find me in the system, the uh, ladies asked me if I voted by mail. I said, well, I was going to, but I told her what happened. And she said, well, you, have you got the ballot? And I said, no, I threw it in the trash. That's what I said, I threw it in the trash. And when I tell you I throw it in the trash, I throw it in the trash. She said, well, just a minute. So she made a phone call and ended up, they let me vote provisionally. I was the only one on the whole list, about 100 people said provisional voter. Anyway, I'm here at the bank, making a large deposit. How are you today? Hi, Mr. Slack. I just need to make a deposit. Yes, sir. I hope y'all can handle it. It's a large deposit. Okay. It's a very large deposit. Well, large or small, we accept them all. <laughs> oh, I like that. Anyway, guys, y'all have a good day. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, bye American made, and take deep breaths, drink plenty of water, and I'll check in as I get this trip going.